Welcome to Mojo Grip, Mike here. Today we're checking out some car airplane breed of vehicles. Now in the past, these are generally technology that you would see on the big screen, but more and more, they are becoming real. And today we're gonna check out five cars that would transform into an actual flying airplane. The first on the list is the Terrafuge Transition. Here's a Chinese old company that's based here in the United States. And the Terrafuge has actually been around for a while now. For those of you who have never heard of the Terrafuge, here are some key features you need to know. First of all, this is a car that you can park in your garage, just like any other car. Okay, now you take it to an open field and this bad boy becomes an actual airplane. But here's the fun part. It's fully autopilot. What that means, you don't have to fly. You don't even have to know how to fly. You just either push a button, whatever control system they have in there, you tell it where to go. And this thing is supposed to get you to your destination. Another really cool thing about the Terrafuge is that you have electric motors and then you also have an engine. So when you have electric motors, you need batteries to charge them. But instead of you having to plug in into the wall and electrically charge those batteries, you have an engine in place to do all the charging for you. So that's sweet. The Terrafuge would travel up to 500 miles at 200 miles per hour. And one thing I should also mention about this airplane is that it's really three different vehicles in one. You have a car, you have somewhat of a gyrocopter, and then you have an airplane, okay? You have a car. When you're ready to fly, you have two motors that faces up like a gyrocopter, and you basically lift up as if you're flying a helicopter. And then once you're in cruise, those same motor now goes forward facing, and then the whole thing becomes an airplane. That is sick. And what that means for non-pilots is that you don't even need a runway. You don't need a runway to land this thing. You basically pick up in less than 100 feet, and when you're ready to land back down, same thing. The airplane just comes vertically straight down like you're flying a helicopter. Now, there's no word yet on how much this thing is going to cost or when it's gonna be certified, but we're definitely waiting until the day the Terrafuge becomes a full production airplane. Number two is the Aeromobile. Here's another cool concept car, and out of everyone I've seen so far, the Aeromobile has one of the neatest designs, both as a car and as an airplane. It is also one of the few companies that has a fully designed flying prototype. Let's check out some of the features. First, this car seats only two people. It is like an actual car because it has four wheels, and once it's ready to become an airplane, you have the wings fold outward and becomes a full airplane wings with flaps. And then you have a pusher motor in the back of the car. And I should mention that you would probably need a pilot's license to fly in one of these. Now as a car, the Aeromobile would travel up to 100 miles per hour in speed. And once it becomes an airplane, you can travel north of 200 miles per hour. Some key safety features I should also mention is that this airplane has a parachute system on board and you have an option to have a full autopilot system. What this simply means is that you have somewhat like a self-driving car. Again, this aircraft is already fully designed. We're just waiting for when it gets certified and then we can find out how much will it cost. Next is the Pal V. When you look at this particular vehicle, it looks more like a motorcycle than it does a car. It is big enough to seat two people, but when you look at the narrow design and the narrow shape of this aircraft, you can't have side to side seating. So instead of you have a front to back seating. Now unlike the Aeromobile, this vehicle has a rotor system like a helicopter. So with the design, when you're ready to turn it into a flying machine, you have that rotor system come up and, and then you also have a pusher motor in the rear of the vehicle. The Pal-V is equipped with a 200 horsepower engine. This would allow it to cruise up to 100 miles per hour both as a car and as an airplane. Number four is the Kitty Hawk Flyer. Kitty Hawk is a California based company that is founded by, get this, Google. So you know that if Google has its hands on something, it's 
probably going to become a reality. Now, I don't see how this is a car, although it's referred to as a flying car, but I don't see any wheels. It looks more like a human drone to me. And I counted about 10 different blades, so I'm assuming this has 10 electric motors on it. And I should also mention, this vehicle is fully electric. Now, there are no stats in terms of the performance or what the cruise numbers will look like. This is just a design prototype. Now, some really key features about the flyer. One, it's a solo plane, meaning it only fits one person. But one of the selling features for this aircraft is that it has very minimal control system. Unlike an actual airplane where you have to do several things, all you have is a tiny knob in the cockpit that allows you to control the movement of this aircraft. Also, you have an auto stabilizer. Just like you have in your normal drones, you have one in this human drone as well. Now again, there's no data to show in terms of the performance stats. We don't know how fast this thing would go or how far it's going to travel. All we know is that right now, there's a fully designed prototype that is flyable. Flyable by the average person. You don't need a pilot's license to get into one of these. I've saved the best for last, guys. The best vehicle on this list is the Maverick. First of all, you look at it, it looks like a hot rod. But this is one that actually transforms into an airplane when you need it to fly. Now, the Maverick is a Florida-based company that's here in the U.S. And this vehicle has so much, so much cool features. The first is the car itself. Again, it looks very neat, old school. But with the performance, you can travel just as fast as you would in a normal car. And you have a range of 450 miles. And the Maverick can be used as an off-road driving. As a matter of fact, the inception of this vehicle was for off-road. And so they've built a really nice suspension with it. And whenever you need to turn it into a flying machine, take a break, pull out those wings, and go flying. Now let's talk about the airplane part of this thing. Okay, your wings are actually not your standard fixed wing on a single engine airplane. Your wings are canopies. It's like having a parachute on board. So basically to fly this, you pull out the wing rods, you pull out your canopy, spread them out, and you're ready to go flying. Now this airplane will climb at 600 foot per minute gross, but you can climb over a thousand foot per minute if it's just one person flying it. Here's one of the main selling points for this car. When you're in the air and it turns into an airplane, the control system is very similar still as if you're driving. To turn right or left, you simply push your steering wheel to the right or to the left as you would in a normal car. But here's one thing some will consider a downside for the Maverick. In cruise, you can only travel up to 40 miles per hour, which is not much when you think of an airplane. But what makes the Maverick the best transformer on this list is that it is fully certified. This aircraft has already received certification from the FAA as an experimental light sport aircraft. What that means is that you can purchase one today and the price tag less than $100,000. Now for some, that's a really expensive car, but when it turns into an airplane, that's also a very affordable airplane. And that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give a thumbs up. If this is your first time, be sure to subscribe to Mojo Grip and consider supporting me on Patreon. My Patreon link is below. Again, my name is Mike. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys on the next video.